Hey all, today I'll be creating this particular effect that you see in front of you. It was requested by one of my YouTubers, YouTube subscribers. I hope he's a subscriber, I'm not really sure. So he mentioned, hi, can you show us how to animate radial waves emitting? Are you familiar with the app Shazam? So on and so forth. Uh, yes, and I created um, this particular demo for him and he mentioned this is exactly what he was looking for. So obviously this is not exactly like Shazam since Shazam has some other animations as well. But this is exactly what he was looking for and he asked me again and again to actually create this animation or show how to create this animation uh, in a video and I'm going to do that. One huge disclaimer that I would like to highlight. Animations like these even though they look great and they're fancy and all of that stuff doing them in Figma isn't really that helpful. Either create them on other tools like SVG Gator or ideally on After Effects. If you create these animations on After Effects, you can export them to Lottie files and from Lottie files, you can import these animations directly in Figma as a GIF and your developers can use those Lottie files to generate a JSON file to actually have these animations embedded within their web app projects or mobile app projects so on and so forth so it's much more valuable to actually create these animations there but since uh, the youtuber actually requested us to create this animation on figma we're going to do that right now so i'm going to delete all of this i'm going to delete my animating ellipses as well i'm just going to use this as a for some reason uh, i'm just going to use this let me actually just remove the animation i'm going to use this backdrop as an example on how to create it first of all what we need to do is we need to create a circle now how big the circle is doesn't really matter obviously you can configure it by yourself i'm just going to move it behind and i'm going to reduce the opacity to 10 percent i'm going to create a component around it so here's the component i'm going to say animating ellipsis and we're going to create this component i am going to go ahead and basically just move this component outside i'm going to duplicate its instance in the uh, in the page itself and I am going to create multiple variants for it so I'm going to go on the properties I'm going to say variant you can basically just call them states like this particular property state and I'm also going to make this an auto layout so it's uh, I can easily scale them and uh, let's just give some spacing in between them command D command D command D and that basically just duplicates the shapes so what I'm going to do is obviously this shape is going to start small and let's just actually measure the width of this ellipsis that we have in the middle. The width is 118. So let's just make this 118 or something smaller so it's hidden by default. So I'm just going to make it something like this. We are going to say after a delay of let's say 1 milliseconds, I want you to go to this particular state that you see here after let's say 1 second. You should go here and we can also make this slightly larger after 1500 milliseconds and we're just going to see it i think that's a bit slow so let's just convert this to 1000 you're going to see after one second or in one second you should expand to something like this and we also have to decide how long we want this whole animation to be because all of the circles that we have in the middle should ideally disappear at the same level. So whatever we do for the other circles as well, other animating circles, the time for them disappearing should be exactly the same. So we're going to say that maybe this animation runs for three seconds. So it goes from zero to one second in this particular stage. And then after, let's say, 1500 milliseconds let's just call it after 1500 milliseconds so that's a total of 2.5 seconds it's going to disappear um, and it's that, that disappearing effect is going to take 500 milliseconds let's just remove this opacity so now let's have a look at it so as you can see it basically goes there and then it comes here now if we want to restart the animation we're just going to link this last frame to the uh, to the first one and that's just actually I think I'm I accidentally selected the circle so it's really important to select the variant I'm gonna say after a delay of zero seconds I want you to animate this to the initial one and since the initial one is already hidden by behind the circle that we have in the frame we can just make it instant so one millisecond one millisecond so now as you can see we have something like this so this first radial wave is created and I think it looks good and our animation is roughly around 300 milliseconds or 3 seconds. So now we have the second circle. The second circle is also going to be very similar. However, it's going to actually start at a later stage. So maybe after 
0.5 seconds it's going to begin so we're going to say the delay for this is going to be 0.5 seconds sorry 500 milliseconds and then we are going to say it's going to go here maybe it's this the speed is the same but since we added 15 500 milliseconds in the start we're going to reduce them from here so we're going to say this is going to go after a delay of 100 milliseconds to the hidden shape and since this is the second radial it doesn't necessarily need to be as big so we're just going to make it small roughly based on our perception so I'm just going to duplicate this since duplicating is just basically going to position it right in the same place and instead of the animating ellipses we're going to say this is going to be animating ellipses too so let's just refresh and see how this looks so this is how it looks so there's a issue here the issue is that this third circle actually expands a bit uh, instead of actually shrinking down and the reason for that is the reason for its expansion is that the circle obviously this third circle is actually picking its sh its size from this upper circle and since the upper circle was slightly bigger it's expanding so we don't need it to expand we just need it to be the same size but reduced opacity so now that i have that done it's going to look like this so now this looks fine now we're going to obviously do the same thing with our third circle and this is going to be our third circle the size is going to be much much more smaller and obviously we should just replace this here as well and reduce the opacity and let's just duplicate this uh, ellipses uh, and make it the third one have the third one here so we're just going to use the third one and now we basically have to update the delay here so the first the last delay should be 100 milliseconds or 1000 1, milliseconds but since we obviously increased 500 milliseconds here we have to reduce 500 milliseconds from here so we're going to say after a delay of 500 milliseconds it should go here so now if we have a look at it we have something like this first circle second circle third circle and you can tweak this animation in any way that you want you can reduce the opacity you can increase the time so on and so forth you can do all of that stuff and just play around with it obviously if you want you can even actually combine all of these three ellipses into a component and actually create multiple different variants for the larger animation or actually a, a top level animation for all of these three as well but this is exactly what the person wanted me to create which is why i've done that let me know if you found this interesting uh, do subscribe do hit the bell icon and start creating your animations in after effects so obviously it's much easier for developers to implement them as well take care i'll see you later bye